Hi everyone. Hope everybody is safe and doing doing fine. Uh, I'm here today in my home studio where I am with uh, my drum kit and I am going to take you guys through the entire uh, setup and you know uh, to each one and how they sound so that you know you can get a feel of you know what a drum kit sounds like. So let's uh, start. So this is uh, basically uh, a five piece kit. Uh, I had it. I've added an extra tom here. So I'll explain as to what each thing is. If you see uh, towards my left hand side, okay, there's uh, this particular piece of uh, equipment. It's called uh, the hi hat. Okay, so it has got an opening, opening and closing mechanism. If you can see from there, I closed it with my foot and I've opened it. So. So uh, there's an opening and closing mechanism, which uh, you know, with the foot. Plus, you can play it with your hand also. So this is called the hi hat. Uh, normally, most of the times you would play this with your right hand. This is my right hand. This is you would play it with the right hand okay so keep in mind this is a 15 inch hat you get 13 inches you get 14 inches you get 15 inches some people also use 16 inches some people use even uh, you know uh, 18 inches hi hats i have seen uh, people but uh, i am using a 15 inch a 15 inch hi hat here and coming to the snare so this drum which we have here is called the snare drum okay i hope you can see it from there uh, so the sound it makes is something like this So this is also a 14 inch uh, snare drum, uh, this is a 14 inch snare drum, it's uh, around uh, you can say around 10 inches deep and the diameter is 14 inches. You get uh, high pitch snares also which is called a piccolo snare, you can google it. It is uh, uh, it's called a 13 inches by 3 inches so it's a really small snare and really high pitched. So uh, always remember the the smaller the drum the higher the pitch the bigger the drum the lower the pitch okay and this is a beautiful instrument and one of the rarest instruments because it covers all the frequencies in the audio spectrum when i say audio spectrum it's it covers from a low frequency a low sound right to a high sound and i believe that this is the only instrument which you know covers all uh, you know all the aspects of uh, sound and uh, it's uh, the engineers take a lot of time in, in order to get a good drum sound coming back to the to the rest of the kit so you have a a 12 inch tom and if you can see from there or here this angle so this is this is a 12 inch tom after a 12 inch tom i have got a 14 uh, a 13 inch tom and then I have got uh, another 13 inch tom, both these are tuned dif differ differently uh, and uh, this is a 16 inch flow tom. So we have again the hi-hat, we have the snare drum, the first tom, then the 13 inch tom, then again the 13 inch tom and then the flow tom. Okay, so if I have to play it. Okay, so that's how the drum sound. Now, we also have a bass drum, which I, I'll play with my foot. I probably you'll not be able to see it from there, but if you can hear this, this is how it sounds. Okay, so this is uh, the bass drum. Uh, and uh, I'll get into, you know, how it sounds and all that sometime later. Uh, and how to uh, dampen it and stuff. So this is uh, basically the setup. This is my seat or the, the drum throne as you call it. And uh, I'll just remove my camera here. And 
So as you can see, that is the bass drum. Okay. So I have uh, padded it up with uh, uh, with some uh, foam material. You can also pad it up with a pillow. And but I have padded up with uh, some foam kind of material inside, uh, just to dampen uh, the sound a little, so it is not really really loud. Okay. So and another thing is this is the hi hat I was showing you initially, and it sits on a stand like this. I hope you can see it. It's got a hat stand, and that is the foot pedal, where you can, if you can see, the foot pedal. It's got opening and closing mechanism. This is the snare drum I was showing you some time ago, and those are the toms. You can see the toms. Okay, those are the toms. This is the flow tom, 16-inch flow tom, and yes, uh, I also have some symbols here with me. Which are called crash symbols. This is a 18-inch uh, crash symbol. All right. Uh, this is a 21-inch uh, crash symbol. So I've got an 18-crash. I've got a 21-inch crash symbols. I have a 22-inch desert. Uh, I have a 22-inch ride symbol, and uh, I have something which is called the FX uh, crash. And I have something called as a stack symbol, which is here. So the stack sounds something like this. Okay, the the FX symbol sounds something like this. I've got a little uh, something here effects, so it sounds without the effects. This is how it sounds uh, without the effects. This is this is a stack. This is a 14-inch uh, stack with uh, a 10-inch uh, splash on it, and this is the the ride, the ride bell. So this is the ride. This is the bell. And then we have the crash symbol, the 21 inch crash. And then we have the explosion. This is, this is another crash. Okay. So people use different symbols and based on preference for different tones and different sounds for each uh, drum. Uh, so it depends on actually what uh, you want to do in terms of uh, you know your playing style of music and stuff. So some people uh, in a jazz, uh, if you're playing jazz music and stuff, you don't really require such a big setup. Uh, jazz music is uh, just where if you have a cymbal, one rack tom or one 13 inch tom and a flow tom, uh, it would do. So it's not a real, you don't need to invest in such a big uh, kit. You get uh, kits in the market which are really cheap and uh, you know you can start off uh, you know by playing a real small uh, kit and a inexpensive kit I would say. Uh, what we can do now is uh, I have taught you guys the quarter note, the eighth note and the sixteenth note. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you on the kit. Okay, the quarter note is basically something like this. As I said one, your right hand goes on the hi-hat and your left hand goes underneath your right hand on the snare drum. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, now if you're getting into drums, you can play your foot on beats one and beats three. So you play one with the right hand, right foot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the eighth note will sound like this. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And. So you can again play the bass drum on beats one and three and sound something like this.
and the 16 note beat which will sound something like this 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a same way 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 So those are the three basic counting uh, to learn drums or to play drums is the quarter note, your 16th note, or your 8th note and your 16th note. So do try it out guys if you really want to uh, get into drums and uh, keep a routine for practicing. Till then I will see you guys uh, in my next video.